Hello YouTube, this is Connor Fay1999 here with the layout update. Um, I haven't done much to the layout, uh, that's why I haven't really made a video on the layout lately, but, um, I did get some new, we can see, you can see, if you can see that, but, so I'll be able to have more time to ballast and put some scenery down, but, that's about it for the layout. So next I'm going to show you my train closet. Okay, one thing I did do on the, like, that's kind of related to my layout is I kind of organized my trains in my closet, but I don't know. I got bored. My trains were a mess, so I kind of organized them and boxed most of them up. But that's it for that. Okay, you two, the next thing I'm going to show you is something called ATCS monitoring. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it is a program that people came up with. It'll you have to have some kind of radio feed and people have made these layouts or boards like actually what the dispatcher sees and it can show you where the trains are so just using the radio feed so like here the green that means the train has the right away to move you don't know if it's uh, green or um, yellow though and like right here you can see there's a train occupying it where it's red um, it has all the signals and stuff, but that can help you real fanning what, if you have internet with you, so it's kind of nice. I mean, also you can see there's some interesting things moving, like here in Defiance, Ohio, the mall being western is uh, running. Um, just cool movements. This is the CSX Garrett sub. That's what I'm using. I'm just watching right now, but it can help you real fan, and it's going to help me with the trip I'm going on probably heard about it in some of my previous videos but I will be going to a four day trip I will be following the CSX Garrett sub this one well in Willard sub from about Foster Road, Ohio to Chicago and then following the NS Chicago line back to probably like the Elkhart, Butler, Waterloo, Indiana somewhere around there um, but yeah this will help me real fan there so that's that one of the last things I have to show you guys, I just have a quick question, um, if some of you might know. I have Trains the uh, Railroad Simulator 2010, and I've been having problems with this. I would just click. It ran before, but then stopped working, so I reinstalled it, and then click Start. You'll give it a second. Eventually, it'll ding, and see if I can get it on. But eventually, it'll ding, and it'll say, right here unable to connect to the train Z assets database so I mean um, if any of you guys know how to help me with that that would be appreciated okay you two before I go I'm just going to show you one last thing this is um, this is my camera because I'm going to have this out because I'm going to take it on my trip obviously so a lot of times you guys see uh, videos that are really shaky because I just take with my iPod of the trains but I always, I always use this one for every train but some of them I just use my iPod too, but which I'm recording with now. But so I have a tripod. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I actually like to get like a really super sturdy one. But here I'll show you. It's a my camera is Canon HD full 1080p. It's times 12 zoom. It's probably like three years old. Um, I have an aftermarket battery in it, which makes it have a lot longer life. And Let's see right on the bat. It zoomed in pretty well. Um, it's a nice camera, but yeah, full HD, all that. So this is my camera. So thanks for looking at that. Well, YouTube, thanks for watching. Anyway, um, that's about it. Um, I'll get some more work done on the way once I come back from this four-day trip. So expect videos from that in a little bit. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, please try to help me with that train G problem. I really want to play that again, but anyway, thanks for watching YouTube, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.